Hello, hello, everybody. Can you guys hear me? I'm just connecting right now. <clears throat> hey, Kathy. Hey, uh oh, I just went away right now. Hey, Julie. Welcome, welcome. And Emily. Happy Wednesday, guys. Okay. We got it. We are on. Yes, yes. Welcome, Julie. I believe, yes, I did. Let's see here. Get your information. <clears throat> yes, yes, I did. Hey, Kirsten. Hey, Shakuter. Okay, guys. Um,. Please make sure you are in live chat because that is the real time for the live as it's going with the chat and the auction numbers and all that. Make sure you are in live from time to time. Please refresh whether you're on your tablet, your phone, or your TV. Um, refresh it because there's always like that extra delay that sometimes YouTube will um, create. Hey, Bruce. Welcome, welcome. So please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, also, um, please let's please welcome Julie. She is new to the channel. This is her first time here. Hey, Creek. And I do want to say, um, let me just go over like a little bit of the the pinpoints as far as like shipping and whatnot. So if you get something and um, shipping is under a pound, it's $6 flat domestic rate. If it's over a pound or if you're international, it will be a few more dollars. Um, and, you know, you could kind of judge by, like, the things that you will purchase. If it's, like, bigger, it's going to go in a box and whatnot. It's going to it's gonna be charged a little bit more. But I always try to get you guys the better deal instead of packing something in like a box and have um you know a shipping of like 20 bucks i will rather send it priority and save you guys five or seven dollars if i can and put it in a priority box okay so let's get the show going you guys i have basically kind of like a flea market going on tonight um, I always like to mix up not only my vintage antique and modern jewelry, but I like to put, you know, little trinkets, little purses, something that is just gonna like, um, maybe it could mesh well with the jewelry you pick out or something you have at home. But I like, I like just to be versatile when I got enough goods. Okay. So let's see here. And then once again, if you are new, I do need you to register. It's the pinned com comment at the top. Either it's going to be down here or to the side. You need to email me before you do any purchases. That way I have your information and so forth, so forth. So hey, Linda. Hey, Elizabeth. Kathy, how are girl? How are you doing from your surgery? Is all good? Welcome everybody. I have yep, I have a lot of different stuff to show and I hope you guys are thrilled with what I'm bringing to the forefront. you're slow it's okay you just rest and um you know take it easy it's gonna it's gonna take some time but i appreciate that you're here i hope that i put on a good show for you girl all right i'm just taking a sip of my coca-cola hey linda Okay, guys, just remember there are no friends in an auction. Well, as I say, first come, first pay. Okay? All right, let's jump right in. 
Um, let's see what we got here. So I will try my best to, um, oh, this just, I will try my best to give you measurements, I, which I typically do. Um, but if I'm missing something, just ask me in the chat. Cause you know, it's just me by myself writing everything down and measuring and whatnot. So some, and I'm looking at two to three different, three different screens. Um, so, okay, this, let me just hook this back in. What happened here? Okay, I got it back in. Okay. I do a lot of buy it nows, which I will put in the chat, B-I-N, and that means, okay, so this is also, Julie, for something you need to look out for. If, um, let me just turn this down a little bit. Something else that um, you need to look out for is in the chat, you're going to see the price of the item, whether it's a buy it now or auction, come up before you hear me verbalize it. And that's just the delay of YouTube that I have on my side. So always, if you see something you like and you're like, you know what, I think I might want to um, get a go at that piece in the auction or I want to buy it. Look at the chat because um you're gonna you're gonna see a pop-up before you hear me talk about it with the price here are some really really cute sterling native feather earrings with turquoise chips well they're kind of fatter than chips but yeah a little turquoise they are for pierced ears okay these are just really, really, so this is all sterling. This is sterling. I don't know about the, the hook. Okay. And let's do a measurement as far as you're welcome. You're welcome. I understand. Sometimes you go in and everybody, you know, runs their show differently. You're not sure as far as like what the rules are and whatnot. So you got it. So this is about an inch and a, a little bit past an inch and a half of a drop. These I'm just going to do a buy it now, okay? I'm going to be um, very fair with the price. These are fun. And watch the chat. This is going to be a buy it now of 18. A buy it now of 18. Oh. I just lost the little, I got to pop that back in. The little uh, hook that goes for the pierced earrings. I just popped out of there. Let me say something. I just have to tighten the little, the little loop. Okay. So these are, oh, I got oil in my, coconut oil in my, my nail. Sorry about that. Okay, that's not cute. So these are 18, buy it now. What is going on? I put, <laughs> I was putting coconut oil all over my nails and I'm seeing like, chunks i'm so sorry guys it's organic coconut oil anyways these are by it now of 18 they're sterling with the feathers i'm gonna give it a few more and then i'm gonna keep going down the line okay let's pass on this mm. Now, this is a really cute set. This is by um, Amadeo. We have like a teal, um, a teal enamel. 
with this cameo and it's a clamp bracelet and then I have a matching ring which I'm going to sell them separately but it's a really pretty set so the measurement on let me see how this fits on me so I'm a seven and a half so there's plenty of room so I would say definitely between a seven and seven and three quarters this would this would work it would fit okay Amadeo some of the um cameo pieces from this brand can go for a good amount of money I'm just gonna do a buy it now of ten dollars hey crystal how's my baby girl so I'm gonna do a buy it now on the cameo Tiffany colored um clamp You miss it. Oh, you know, I think there's, I saw another one up. I think it was, you should check out for it. I know, I love, I love it. I love this Calcini one. And then this, I just got this Moonstone in. Um, this one's up for sale, but I'll show it in a, a bit. They're all big? Okay. Okay, so nobody wants this. The ring is going to be a size. The ring is a size 8. So if anybody's interested in the ring by itself, this one is a buy it now of 10. This one is a size 8. They're 10 each, basically. It's just a really cute, it's, the enamel's really pretty. It's like a Tiffany blue. I think it's adorable. And it's costume. It's a matching set. So 10 and 10. I'm going to give it a few more and then we're going to keep moving on. Okay, let's pass on that one. <clears throat> let's see here. What do I have over here? Okay. I'm not sure what kind of stone this is. Um... This is either, I really don't know what kind of stone this is, but it's, it's beautiful. Amazonite, I don't know. I'm going to give the measurement. It's nice and chunky. And we're looking, the bracelet with the big rhinestone ball. Okay, I'll do that next, Kathy. Yeah, if you see something in the back that's, that is getting your interest let me know and I'll pull that right up so this one's going to measure about 18 and a half inches it has a toggle clasp 18 and a half inches it's a gorgeous it's a gorgeous set let me zoom out a little bit or you know what there we go So for this stone necklace, um, let's do a start bid of 25, a start bid of 25 and look how thick, it, look at it, it's bigger than my thumb. If um, there's only one bid, then somebody gets to bring home this beautiful faceted stone necklace for $25. Hey Linda, look at what I got honey. Real stones right here. The turquoise cuff over there is small. It's for a tiny wrist. I'll show that. I'll show that after the this other bracelet. 
So start bid on this is 25. If there's only one bid, look at how chunky these stones are. Like I said, I don't know exactly. So we're looking at over an inch, over an inch in each stone. Real stones, yeah, I don't know if this is like a mazonite, some type of adventuring. And I think adventuring is more, has more greens. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Okay, um, if anybody changes their mind, let me know. Let's pass on this, okay? Let's pass on that. Now, uh, Kathy, you were inquiring about the bracelet with the big rhinestone ball. So the measurement on, on this bracelet let me see here it's eight eight and a half let me see if you could clasp it smaller i think you can okay so let me show you the little trick with this bracelet we're gonna have um these beautiful kind of like gold rondelles they're similar to that these are more of a rondelle the rhinestone okay and then it has this like fun disco ball so right here where the clasp is hitting this point this is eight inches okay so some may be like oh that's too big the beautiful part about this bracelet is that you could completely hook it to make it smaller because the ball is going to ha hang regardless okay I love mixed metals. I really do. So this one is going to have a start bid of $15. A start bid of $15. Um, I don't know if this was like old pieces put together because these ornate uh, balls look a little bit older. It's just such a fabulous, like, artisan bracelet. Very, very cool. Very fun. You could stock up other rhinestone, gold, or silver tone. So we have Kathy in at 15. Thank you, my dear. It is. It's very, very unique, and I like it. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, guys. I'd greatly appreciate it. So cute. Okay, I'm going to start calling it. Going once, going twice. Fair warning. Sold to Miss Kathy. Congratulations. And congrats for the first sale of the evening. Congrats, congrats. That one, I like it a lot, Kathy. That one's cute. Mm. Okay. Let's take a look at these rings. I'm going to actually be losing money out on these rings. But I will still give a very, very good price on these. These are from Israel. And they're sterling. They're both a size 7. These are both a size 7. So this is gold vermeil over sterling. Made in Israel. These are brand new. They, they were bought at a local department store. Look at how fabulous this. So let me tell you something about. Hey Anna. Welcome girl. So let me tell you something about these rings. These artisan rings that are made in Israel. 
the the stone cut the cz's are like phenomenal they have a lot of fire a lot of play and a lot of fire okay so this is going to be a choice and they're going to be a buy it now each and they're both size sevens okay both size sevens guys of a buy it now of $25. $25. Okay, Gina. Which one did you want? Both or um, just say one or two. The gold one. She's fabulous. Kathy, did you um, want this one with the princess cut? silver oh beautiful all right ladies thank you so much nice <clears throat> congrats congrats ladies okay now i just picked this up the other day and it was it was handmade and i kept looking at it and i was like this looks like and it feels like bake light okay so i brought it home i tested it and these beautiful red cherry like balls this is all bake light so i got out of this lot um there was a lot of like loose stones. Some I picked, some I didn't. And then, so they made this. They put wiring through like the holes. So maybe this could be, if somebody doesn't want it as a bracelet, they could take it apart and use it as a necklace. Because these are all, uh, I'm going to call them cherry. <laughs> cherry circles of Bakelite. Now, let me, the thing about this is that if you have, a wide um what would it be called the opposite of the palm see because it's not going through but i know it'll fit my wrist so you probably have to be like if this is like medium size to smaller that would work out beautifully a ring of cherries so you know, if you look at it, it's measuring at two and a half. But the thing is, if this is wide, it's going to be, it's going to be a little um, struggle to get it on. Okay. So just keep that in mind. This is fabulous. This one is going to be um, auction. And I'm going to do a start bid of 25. And like I said, these are all Bakelite pieces. It's just fun. This would be really pretty to uh, wear it with like um, other red pieces or maybe black and whites, you know, polka dotty, bake light guys, bake light. $25 start bid for Bakelite. You have to use clip-on or clampers. Oh, yeah, I hear you on that one. I don't have arthritis in my wrist, but I do have arthritis in my ankle. So, yeah, I get it. Hey, Carly. Welcome, girl. You're totally eclipsed. <laughs> I'm going to pass on this one. If anybody's interested, let me know. Let me start getting rid of... And Oh, you guys, I have a, a whole skewer of different purses to show as well. Um, This next bracelet is Joan Rivers. 
okay Joan Rivers and she's measuring at an eight we have acrylic hearts on a gold tone chain there's the toggle so it's measuring at eight inches here's Joni Rivers makers mark okay so let's just do this one at a buy it now of twelve dollars a buy it now of twelve dollars this is Miss Joan Rivers All right, Julie, thank you so much. Congrats on your first sale. Congrats, congrats. Sorry, guys, I'm just like, uh, Zooming in and out. Okay, let's... Oh, let's take a look at this guy. This is a brand new... Hey, stranger. This is a brand new with tags. Betsy Johnson Sweet uh, Bakery Bracelet. So here we have... Is like um, some bows. This is a canister of sugar, a pie. There's a rhinestone croissant, a baking mitten, um, an oven mitten. Not a <laughs> There's the mixer. Look, it has a little mini mixer. How cute. Look at the little straw. Oh my God. Look at the little slice of pie. And you could see the rhinestones on the side. Okay. So this has never been owned. It's brand new. Original price, $130. You know that these bracelets from Betsy, like the, oh, and look at this. Look at, it's a rolling pin, the toggle accessory. Okay, Linda, no worries. I'll be on that next. So the measurement on this one is going to sit at seven and a half. Seven and a half. Okay. So let me put seven and a half inches. And this one is going to be auction. This one is going to be a start bid of $38. A start bid of $38. Yeah, that's a very good deal. If nobody buys it, I'm just going to list it on eBay for double. I just like to give you guys the, um, you know, a better thank you Julie we have Julia for Julie at 40 like to give you guys uh, the better deal so cute look at that so we have Julia 40 do we have 41 or higher 41 or higher We have Bruce at 45. Thank you, Bruce. Do we see 46 or more? Do we have 46? Oh, and also, Julie, if you don't want to continue bidding, like if you reach your point and you could say I'm, you just type in out like you're out and you won't you won't be considered part of the auction anymore. But we need a 46. On the sweets and bakery, you're out. Thank you, Julie. OK. So I see Bruce at 45. I'm going to start calling it. Going once. 
going twice. Fair warning. So to Bruce Bruce. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Congrats. That one's a sweetie. Literally. No pun intended. A sweet thing. Okay. Linda, you said you wanted to see this one, right, sweetie? Okay, so this is a this is just a J. Crew gold tone with these fabulous look at these faceted glass squares. It's in really good condition. Let's get a measurement on this. Okay, let me give you the measurement and then I will put up. So it extends as long from one end to the other is 21 and a half inches, 21 and a half inches. If you want, you could shorten it up. This says J. Crew. It's just a really sweet piece. You can make it shorter and whatnot. I just got my fingerprints on it, so I'm sorry. Okay. So um, let's do this at a buy it now of... I'll just do a buy it now of 16. A buy it now of 16. My fingerprints got all over it. Okay. You got it. Sorry, Kathy. Okay, next piece I want to show you guys. This is a slab of jade. You see the, is it a, yeah, it's a dragon. Oh, this one, so this side is better. And you see the dragon, how beautiful it is. The bell is sterling, okay? So let me show you. So this nice uh, pendant is almost, it's a hair shy of two inches. A hair shy of two inches of this jade pendant. Okay. So I'm going to do a start bid of 38. A start bid of 38. And this is a nice massive pendant. It could be a conversation piece. Look at, there's the thickness right there. Hey, Deborah, what's going on, girl? Deborah's like, oh, I want to take a bite at that. Thank you. 38, Deborah's in at 38. Do we have 39 or higher? Do we have 39 or higher? This is a really nice cutout. Jade looks really, really rich, too. Okay. I'm going to give it a few more. Going, okay. Let's, I'm going to start calling it going once, going twice, a fair warning. Sold to Deborah. Thank you, thank you. Congrats. Congrats, congrats. Is something shaking? Maybe my hand's shaking. You know what it is? I'm putting pressure on the table leg and I think 
it um it might be causing it to shake so i'm sorry i'm sorry sorry oh let's do something okay okay sterling sterling yes i have sterling before I bring out a sterling piece, I want to show you guys um, this Kramer set. Oh, you were, oh, like what's shake or like what's good, what's cooking good looking like that, but what's shaking? This is Kramer of New York. And there are, they are clip on earrings. This is probably one of the more um, desirable collector pieces. And these are clip-ons. They are rhinestones. They kind of look like acorns with black glass. Okay. And here is the brooch, the matching brooch. What I'm going to do is, because I want the set to be together, I'm just going to sell, put the price up for the brooch. Um, and I'm going to throw in the earrings for free, the clip on earrings. Okay. So I'm going to put those down. Let's see here. Let's put these. Okay. Look at that. Okay. So, um, for, for the brooch, and I'm going to throw in the earrings, let's do a start bid of 35 And this is um, Kramer of New York. Kramer of New York. It's a start bid, Kathy. Thank you, honey. Do I see anybody else interested coming in at 36 Kramer of New York. Okay, I don't think there's anybody else interested, so I'm going to start calling it, going once, going twice, fair warning, sold to Miss Kathy, congratulations. Congrats, congrats, mama, that's a nice collector set. Um, here we have, I think somebody was inquiring about this earlier. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't skip your whatnot. This is a little cuff. It is, look at how beautiful this is. Make sure you guys refresh your page and you are in live chat. Okay. So this is Sterling. I tested it. It's stamped right there. And then it has these cute turquoise squares. Now, this is going to go for either somebody who has a tiny wrist or somebody who has like a, a young daughter they want to give a gift away to. So look it, it's not even hitting two. It's a little bit under two. Okay. right <laughs> so this one's a smaller piece but do you see the caviar beads on the top and on the it's just made very very well so um if anybody's interested in this cuff i'm gonna do a buy it now of 35 a buy it now of 35 dollars I can't even get it to go. It's she's small. Look at how pretty the carved um, arrows. This is um, made very, very well, very well. cute and tiny the only people that i know that have like really small wrists is liz and um uh kirsten
It's just cute. Right? Okay. Okay, so if anybody's interested, let me know. Okay, so check this out. I was... Oh, thanks, Bruce. Oh, yeah, you do, but... So you probably could pop this on. But, like, tiny, tiny. Thanks, Bruce. I got you. So, um... I was actually antiquing and um, up in Kernville, California. Okay, I was there last weekend, and I got this sterling silver. It might fit you, but you're not sure. <laughs> um, sterling silver. This is like a uh, watch fob, not a watch. A you know, you know what I'm trying to say. So here's the old spring clasp. Um, a closure. This is sterling. Could you imagine? Okay. I'm going to give a measurement. And But I think that if, if it's shy a link, somebody could always add a link. If it's too small or whatnot. No, thank you. So these... These are antiques. These don't go for, these are not, I mean, they're not going to be, you know, that cheap. This one, it is measuring where it's at seven, seven and a, it's between seven and a quarter and seven and a half. It's between seven and a quarter and seven and a half. And like I said, and if you're smaller, you could always, you know, let me see if the, if the loops will go in. I'm not too sure. Well, actually, I don't think it'll work if it's smaller. But if you wanted to make it longer, you could always get an extra little link and whatnot. Okay, so if anybody's interested in this piece and it's solid silver... This one will be a hundred and a buy it now of a hundred and ten dollars. A buy it now of a hundred and ten dollars. This is a collector piece. It's extremely old. It is. And you know what? You don't have to wear it as a bracelet. Like you could attach it somewhere else on a jewelry piece. I'm always intrigued by the way they would create pieces, you know, years ago. It's just different now, unless you're paying an arm and a leg. So 110, this is solid sterling. If you want, um, if you want, I could, I could weigh it for you if somebody, you know, wants that, but the price is still going to stay where it's at. This is really fun also for uh, layering. You said every time I say and whatnot, I think of whatnot. <laughs> I know, I have my own little. It is a special piece. I actually have a couple chains, um, Victorian chains, in my own collection. And yeah, if it doesn't sell, I might just bump it in with the, re the rest of the family. Okay, so we'll pass on that. Let's see here. Okay, this is fabulous. This is from Peru. And... It has, it's gold filled, it's gold filled and it is um, sterling silver. <laughs> okay, I got it. I got the message. 
so um, the drop on this is a little bit past 17 inches. It's a little bit past 17 inches. Hold on one sec. What did I do with? No, no, you're fine. I got you. Don't. Sorry, guys. I'm getting messages. It has nothing to do with. Okay, so the drop on this is seven. The drop, the where, so it's a double. It's 17 inches. Here we have beautiful crystal pave balls stationed. Okay, and this is solid sterling, and it's from Peru. It's native Peruvian. Okay. Now it does have a small percentage of what does it say? One. Um, let me get the magnifier. Hold on. It has, you know how gold filled it says one slash 20. This one is one slash 15 of 14 karat. So this is one slash 15 of 14 karat, which I don't know where they would put the, I don't know, it's mixed in with the silver, I guess. So this is a beautiful, long sterling and gold, very gold chain. You could double it up, okay? You know what, let me try something really fast. Is this lighting better? I want to see. I think I'm getting washed out with the, with the ring light. Okay, so this one is going to have a start bid of $25, a start bid of $25, and this is a very, very long sterling and gold 14K chain. And this could be, uh, thank you, Kathy, this could be paired up with like other necklaces. It could be um, layered and whatnot, maybe some clear faceted glass or other sterling chains. Hey, scavenger. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna start calling it. I don't think anybody else is interested going once going twice fair warning and sold to miss kathy thank you Okay, um, I just happened to come across this bracelet. It's from Western Germany. It's not sterling or anything, but it's very fun. I don't know the age. It's, it's measuring from seven to nine inches. So right here, if you're a seven inch, you can wear it and up to nine inches. So this is basically the panels, Western Germany, okay, and then it hooks, it hooks like on any of the links right here, like that, it's very light, it kind of feels like hammered aluminum, it's very, very light, but I think the flowers are really, really pretty, it is stamped right here that it's made in Western Germany, okay, so if anybody's interested, let's just do, watch the chat, watch the chat, a buy it now of $8. A buy it now of $8, and this is Western Germany bracelet. You got it, Julie, thank you. 
it's really pretty it kind of appears like you know it it's like an older piece but it's it's not sorry um josephina how are you doing girl I have this brand new um, Betsy. You're very welcome, Julie. You're very welcome. Brand new um, Betsy clamp. They are like leopard paws. Oh my God, look at the rhinestones on the nails. I'm telling you, it's brand new. Original price was $78. Okay. If anybody's interested, let's do a buy it now on this Betsy Johnson leopard um, clamp uh, by enough $20 buy it now of $20 and yeah it was originally 78 still has the yeah the orange is fun very so let's see here i gotta take off uh these other bracelets so i'm a seven and a half so seven and a half i'd say even seven and three quarters or smaller okay look at that i'm gonna take this off because she's gonna be it so buy enough 20 brand new this could also be given as a gift is it mother's day coming around the corner okay we will pass on that but I'll leave her right here just in case. Just in case. Okay. Part of my adventures when I was in Kernville, California, and I was picking, um, let's pass on the last item, uh, some items. I picked up this beautiful yellow AB Juliana bracelet. Okay. Now, I did uh, spend a pretty penny on her, and I'm working on, I'm working on kind of like a matching necklace that needed to be re-strung, but it's not ready. So this is a fold-over clasp. You have your safety chain, okay? And the measurement on this, is going to be seven and a quarter seven and a quarter but hold on let me see if i could get it on because you know when they have like the the ridges or like the scallop wave sometimes it's just not accurate the measurement so let me see if I can get her on. Now I'm trying to one hand this. Okay, so she actually fits me. I'm a seven and a half and she does make it to a seven and a half. Okay. All right. So it's measuring a seven and a quarter, but it's, it's snug on a seven and a half. So the start bid will be high on this, but she is magnificent and I'm still offering her at a lower price than what you would find online. So the start bid on this one is $70. We have these beautiful lemon triangles. She's in really good condition. Do you see the open backs? Mm. 
she's a whole thing. Hey, Monica. Thank you, honey. I'm Monica and at 70. Isn't she beautiful? I'm looking for 75 or higher. 75 or higher. Yeah, she sure is a whole bunch, right? Absolutely stunning. Okay. Well, I'm going to start calling it going once, going twice. Fair warning. Sold to Monica. Congratulations. Okay, I was able to get, find another, um, I just love these. I can't, I can't help it. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. I just got in the, this in the mail today. This in the mail today. Look at the flash on these moonstones. So this bracelet, this one's mine. These are all moonstones. And I got this, and is and I was wearing my Chalcedony bracelet, and as you can see, it pairs up really nice with Chalcedony. You could even wear this with like a mix of pearls, any other um, mother of pearl. The cuts on these moonstones is they're it's really good. Like you see flash in every stone. We have shapes of like squares, ovals, teardrops. And here are three different sizes for the toggle class. And it's going to measure, let's see here. It's going to measure, so if you're like six and three quarters, all the way up to eight. Um, let me see here, hold on six and three quarters actually comfortably i would say six and three quarters to seven and three quarters six and three quarters to seven and three quarters okay so this is going to be auction watch the chat i am going to do a start bid on this one of 65 and like i said if you have other bracelets it just, it pairs up really beautifully. Hey, Susie. We have Susie at 65. We have Mary at 70. Let me see here. Do we see 75? We have Susie at 75. Thank you. And Mary says she is out. Okay. Susie, um, okay, I'm going to start calling it. Going once, going twice, fair warning, 
sold to Miss Susie. Susie, it's been a while, right, since you've purchased. Can you do me a favor, sweetie, and um, just send me an email? That way it's up to date. Congratulations, Miss Susie. Thank you, thank you. Okay, um, let's see here. Okay, let's do this. Next item up. This actually took me back because I was like, okay, Kenneth Cole, sometimes I do bring modern pieces depending on what they are and their, um, you know, condition and style. So the drop on this necklace is, and it has, you can make it smaller if you want. The drop is eight inches. The drop is eight inches. This is Kenneth Cole and it has, okay, wait a minute. It has these beaut, it's gold tone and it has these beautiful black and clear faceted glass pieces. There's this, the maker's mark tag. Kenneth Cole right there. So the drop from here to here is eight inches. If you want, you can make it shorter. There are adjustable lengths, okay? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my God. I like it. She's, she's the whole thing. Look at that. Okay. So if anybody's interested, let's do a buy it now on this Kenneth Cole for $18, $18. This is a modern piece. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy's like, oh my God, I want that. This is a modern piece, but this is kind of giving me like an older, an older vibe, you know, maybe a little bit uh, art deco, whatnot. But that's gorgeous. Yay, Kathy. Congratulations. And then this next piece is, it's not glass. However, it'll be lighter on the neck and it looks like glass. The drop is about nine inches let me show you this piece so this is not glass but it looks like glass right okay Susie I'll check it right now thank you so much they are knotted in between here is the um oh it's the opposite side here is the clasp okay I was expecting to see something like Japan or Hong Kong because it does look like that type of style. Okay. We have gold caps. So it's not glass, but it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You could wear it this side. You could flip it and maybe have this to the front. You know, you just have to play with it a little bit. Um, but just for this necklace, um, let's just do a buy it now of 18. A buy it now of 18 on this vintage piece. Okay, I got you, Kathy. Thank you. I'm just going to check. Okay, uh, uh, Susie, I got you. Thank you.
see here. I'm gonna let that hang right there. Okay, next item up. Um, it's a native sterling rose bracelet. The measurement is going to be oh, wow, it's almost like at an eight. It's seven and three quarters. So the measurement on this uh, sterling rose bracelet is measuring at eight inches. Here's the hook. This is solid sterling. It's very, very 3D. Okay. Now, recently I did have a necklace and a bracelet set that sold. This is just the bracelet. And then I have the earrings and I'm going to do them separate. Okay. So the length on this is eight inches and I'm going to do a buy it now on this one. Let's see here. Okay. On this rose sterling bracelet, I'm going to do a buy it now of 65, 8 inches, a buy it now of 65 for the roses. They are so sweet. And they are, I mean, it's made of Mexico, so you're going to have your Mexico stamp. I did test it. Okay, and then the earrings, so this is a buy now of 65, the earrings are kind of like a, what is it called, like a stud, you know, like you, they're just going to stay on your ear, they're for pierced ears, they're, they're like a stud, so the earrings are going to be a buy it now of 20. So I have 20 on the earrings. Really, really pretty roses. Remember guys, like the sun is out. The spring flowers are here. This, this is just really sweet to wear. All right, scavenger. I got the earrings for you, girl. Thank you. I still have the bracelet. I'm give it a few more. Okay. We're going to pass on the bracelet. All right. Let's see here. This bracelet it's glass it's glass it has the a b on it this is an older clasp right here it's just a really really sweet piece as you can see it matches with a lot of things it really does so um the measurement on this is going to be seven and three quarters seven and three quarters okay if anybody's interested, let's just do a buy it now of 15. A buy it now 15. Okay, Kathy, I got you. Let me refresh my uh, page again. Sorry, Julie, Kathy came in. Let me make let me refresh. Make sure you guys are in live chat also. Okay. Um, this is a very, very old hand-painted mesh antique purse. So we still have some of the colors. 
It's very, very old. I mean, it could have belonged to a child. They did have purses for chill, young little girls. Okay, it's just a sweet little thing. There is some wear right here. I do have a huge collection of antique purses and I have actually some that are very similar to this and I can't keep everything. So um, let's do a start bid on this antique purse of 20. A start bid of 20. And this is all mesh chain work. She's just really sweet. She's even sweet to put in like a 3D frame. You know, and put her as decor. So she needs a new home. I'm telling you, some of these antique purses, they run into the hundreds because of like, depending on their condition, the framework, which is like the skeleton of the, the backbone of the purse. And depending on like what's on the purse, like if it's more of a pictorial scene and whatnot. Okay, I'll give it a few more. Okay, well, well we, I'm, um, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> we'll pass on this one. If anybody's interested, let me know. I also, some months ago, I had some of these crystal um, and glass uh, perfume bottles, some antique ones. This one has floral, floral, um, carvings in the glass. It's in, it's clean. So just remember if somebody gets this, I have to put it in a box for packaging. So let's just do on this one, a buy it now of $20. I'll buy it now of 20 and you could put all right kathy thank you you can put um some fresh uh scents in there perfume whatnot congrats congrats okay kathy's like i'm on it girl Okay, um, let's see here. Let's get into this. So this is beautiful raw, I'm going to say raw amber because some pieces look um, like not as um, conditioned and whatnot. This is graduated. I did get this in Kernville at an antique store. This is all amber and I will give you the length. What I like about this design is that you are seeing, you got the artisan wiring around it that's holding it, but you're seeing um, like the whole piece. Where's my black light? So the drop measurement, now the wiring, it's not, it's just a base metal. So it's not gold and it's not um, silver of anything. It's about, the drop is 13, 13 and a half inches. Sorry about that, it's my alarm. Okay. So the drop is 13 and a half inches. And let's
You guys see that? She's beautiful. I like I like the different variations in this one. Okay. This would go fabulous. It's it's kind of like an artisan amber necklace. This would go fabulous also layered with other ones, with other pieces. So, um this one I will do because uh, I have a certain amount of money invested in this. Um, I'm going to do a buy it now of 110 You have to remember, this is a lot of, lot of amber. It's very long. The, the pieces are chunky and big. They're not um, little. And I think it's very fair for the necklace. This is nice, old, untreated amber. Beautiful. I love all the different variations and the honey and the Baltic and the cognac colors. I'm going to give it a few more. Very fair price, right? Extremely fair. Okay. We'll pass. Um, this bracelet is a very old hammered piece and where's the, they had to add, I believe this was added, the brass little, um, the brass little, um, I can't think right now, <laughs> closure, the clasp. These are amethyst glass cabochons. Okay. Now, I got this online and I was under the pretense. I didn't, I'm pretty good about looking at everything. But I was under the pretense that it was going to be sterling silver, but it's not. Okay. So, um... What I'm going to do is just ask for what I already invested in this as a start bid and we'll just go from there. But it is not sterling. If it was sterling, it would be a lot more. Let me get a measurement on this piece. We are looking at... Hey, Lenore, we're looking at, oh, this one's a big one, eight, eight and a half. This one is measuring at eight and a half. So if somebody does have a smaller wrist, I mean, they could remove one of these um one of these pieces however they would have to get this resoldered oh no 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 actually no they could take this piece out and bump this one down if they have a smaller wrist so it you know it, it would have to be some moving around but if anybody's interested in this piece um a start bit of 32 a start bit of 32 and she is old
star bit of 32 on this um, beautiful bracelet even though it's not real sterling here's the back it's light and there's the hook if anybody's interested after um, this airs um, please feel free to email me please feel free to email me it is pretty right Julie it is okay we'll leave it right here we're gonna keep it moving let's see here oh okay so I'm gonna mix it up guys oh god I love this I have a copy of it so I typically don't bring in books but I got to bring this one in okay so this book is love letters and what it is is it is a compilation of love letters like this one is between Nathaniel Hawthorne and Sophia Hawthorne um, let me see. I'm trying to find some James Joyce to Nora Barnacle. Let's see here. Right here. Queen Mary the second to King William the third. Um, Dorothy Osborne to William Temple. So these are all copies of throughout the years as far back as I believe like the 1700s 1800s Vincent to Anna Rosa Luxembourg to Leo it's just really okay so basically here is um the letters let me see here there was one besides Oh, this is interesting. I love this. I'm a huge fan of King Henry VIII. This one was written in 1528 to Anne Boylan. You guys ever seen that movie, um, The Boylan Sisters? Okay. So this book is a compilation of different love letters. France. Neo, um... Let me see here. Uh, Dorothy Osborne to William Temple. There's just different people that are in here with love letters. I just think it's very, it's very fans, uh, fantasy-like to just read. Like, remember before emails and all that, people were handwriting letters. Sir Thomas More to um, Margaret... Camille um, to Madame. This was in 1794. And I just love the way their language, like the, the, the context. Okay, so anyways, I have actually a copy myself of this book. But if anybody's interested in this book, um, I'm going to do a start bid of $12. It's just different. I think if anybody... Um, enjoys reading you know having a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and maybe nobody wants a book I think it's I love this stuff thanks Deborah it's just Benjamin Franklin to Madame Okay, so see, guys, there's, like, some interesting people in here. You have a box of cards sent to you from long-lost relatives. I save all my cards, like, all my birthday cards or, you know. I love that. Um, Benjamin, wow. So I'm looking for anybody else who's in. Yeah, it is a lost art. Anybody else who's interested, if not, then it's going to go for 12. Look at, it's pretty thick too, so there's a lot of letters in there. 
Alright. Alright, going once, going twice, fair warning, sold to Deborah. Wow, Deborah, what a great price. Congrats. Congrats. Really, really sweet. All right, guys. Um, let's bring in some more pieces. So this I love. Yeah, I think so too. You know, I like to mix it up. This is not sterling you know it's like one of those necklaces made probably in india which i need that however i love the stones this is like that dendritic agate and i am so weak for this these type of stones so i'm not gonna ask for a lot of money because it is not sterling however i feel that it is still a beautiful piece of a, st a statement necklace um the drop on this is 10 inches the drop is 10 okay let me just hold it it's not hold it's not gonna do too well so the drop is 10 if anybody's interested Let's do a buy it now of 20 on this one. A buy it now of 20. I mean, look at how nice and beautiful these cuts are. Somebody who appreciates the stones, they'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Buy it now of 20. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, guys. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm pulling out some more silver, too, right now. Yeah, it is. It's it's nicely. I like the um, dendritic and the rutilated. I like all those stones. I feel like I just could get lost in them. Okay. So there's that one. Oh, you know, I'll put it right here. So we'll pass. Okay. So this is another piece I picked up in Kernville at an antique store. And I just found it so very interesting. It's like an, and she said it was like an antique Chinese piece. And it does have a crack right there. This is, um, I don't know if this is like a, it's, it doesn't feel like resin, but it doesn't feel like porcelain. Yeah, I don't know. It might be ceramic. I did test this right here to see if um, it was possibly silver, but it's not. And it doesn't open. I think they, they soldered it shut. But um, I said, well, what do you think this was used for? And she's like, I think it was an antique um, Chinese like snuff bottle. I don't know. This is just the information I'm relating back. But um, this is a very interesting, not your everyday kind of piece that we see. So if anybody's interested, um, this one is going to be a buy it. That's a lot of snow. <laughs> Scavenger girl, right? <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, 
they probably it's a buy it now 45 i they probably use this to like drink like something out of it you know but it was converted into this necklace which i appreciate i like i like the hanging artifacts and whatnot it's a buy it now 45 scavenger you're funny girl yeah i think it was something that they were like swigging at you know it's such a cool piece and even though it does have that chip i still feel like antique wine antique wine <laughs> i'm like wow That's funny. Flask. You know what? Let me let me fix this up. I think it looks really fun too, paired up with the amber. I'm just shortening it up that way you guys could see it in the in the screen. Okay, let's move her on down. Okay, let's pass. Now I have this very very old I don't know if this is like the 40s or the 20s, but we have um, sterling silver with, uh, yeah, did I put the black light on this one? Hmm. Sterling silver and we have amethyst and amethyst glass. The drop on this is going to to be eight and a quarter eight and a quarter look at how old this necklace is so the drop is eight and a quarter that's the drop and i will do a buy it now of 38 dollars on this piece she's really really old i think she's so sweet Look at that. Here's the back. And she is all sterling. She is all sterling. I'll buy it now, 38. Wow, look at that. Buy it now of 38. Okay. We will pass on that one. Nobody likes her. She's fabulous. Okay. I'm bringing in some earrings, guys. Some fabulous earrings. One I've never seen before. And I'm excited. So anybody who's into earrings, different out of, you know, different out of the, um, out of the ordinary type of style artisan. Okay, well, oh, you know what? These need to be, I don't know what this was exposed to. Okay, so I don't clean the jewelry unless, I mean, because people like the patina. But this one, I think, needs to be cleaned. So here I have these pierced facial masks earrings. These are solid sterling silver. These are solid sterling silver. I think probably this mask needs a rub of a cloth. Okay. We are looking at a drop of almost two inches. 
Okay, very, very fun. If anybody's interested, let's do a buy it now of 30 and they are sterling. These are all sterling. So this could go with like different pieces. You could have your artists and jewelry. You could have your native Mexico. Like it'll, it'll work. Look at the nose. How cute. Very, very cute. Okay, I'm going to give it a few more. And... All right, we're going to pass on those. Next up, as far as earrings... Part of these are sterling and part of these are not. They were, you could tell like they were just made. Um, they're artisan made. So they're for pierced. This part right here is sterling. And the stars are not. But I still think they're very, very cool. So the drop on these will be let's see here if you have them um on a pierced ear the drop is about four inches the drop the drop is four inches so like i said this part right here is sterling the stars are not so if anybody's interested, let's do a buy it now of 25, a buy it now of 25. I'm going to give that a few more. You guys are so quiet. Okay. Oh, well, there goes that one. Okay, we'll pass. We will pass. Let me just show how cute this little purse is. So, I have some purses that I wanted to bring. I've brought them before or some I haven't showed. Let me see what's in here. This is by... Uh, I think this is something that... You had to feed your dogs. It's okay. Uh, so, I picked this up at the thrift store. It's in really great condition. I think... Um, they sold these like at TJ Maxx. So this is the purse. And it has these little rhinestones. So this is how it works. This is cute for like a quick night out. If you don't want to take much. You zip it like that. And then if you want you can clip it right here. Like that. So it's like kind of like a wristlet little purse. I'm probably messing up the terminology and you have a pocket inside it's just really cute so if anybody's interested it's going to be a buy it now of ten dollars a buy it now of ten dollars Buy it now of ten dollars. Hey Alyssa, long time no see girl. 
Okay, so if anybody's interested, let me know. I'm going to put that right back over here. Okay. Boss, boss, boss. Yeah, it is in good shape. It's in very good shape. Um. Hey, Erica. Okay, I got you, girl. Thank you, thank you. I got you. How are you doing? Thank you. All right, before I pull out something with Sterling, I'm good, I'm good. I wanted to show you guys, this brooch is from Hidden Heart. It looks older than what it is. It's just a really cutie, has a chain. It's a brooch. I do like the two women. I don't know if this is like a Gemini uh, thing, you know? But if anybody's interested, let's do a buy it now of $12 on the brooch. Buy it now of $12. Hidden Heart, which is, I've seen that name around. I like, I just like the women, the double women too. And then if somebody doesn't like the chain, they could remove it and just wear it like that. Right? I think it's cute. Yeah, I, I'm thinking it might be Gemini. The little cherub and the hearts and the faux pearls. Okay. Okay, we'll pass on that one. Okay. No, that's not Amber. That's Amber. Okay, this next chain is going to have a drop of nine and a half inches. Nine and a half inches. Okay. This one's really, really old. Um, I'm thinking the heart might be Victorian and they added it on this box chain necklace. So here's the necklace. Wait a minute, let me see here. Is this Italy? Yeah, it's from Italy, the chain. So here's the chain. And this is a really, really nice chain. Look, it's a box length. And then here we have an older antique heart that they throw on. It's just really, really sweet. Um, I'm going to do a start bid on this one of $60 and this is all sterling. The chain is really nice and sturdy. And it, you know, you could also, if you don't 
if you're done with the heart you could put other pendants on there it's just a nice piece thanks Linda really really sweet All right, I'm going to start calling it going once, going twice, fair warning, soul to miss, Linda, thank you. That's, that's a really pretty piece. Okay. We have Year of the Dragon. I have this dragon ring. It's going to be a size eight and a quarter. Uh, it's almost eight and a half. Let me see. Let me see. Eight and a half. It's between eight and a quarter and eight and a half. I'm just going to put eight and a quarter. Okay. Here's the ring. It's solid sterling. The dragon has a stone in its mouth. And when I was looking at it, um, I think it might be an opal. Because it has... It just has a mix of like galaxy colors, like black opal. You can't see it in there. Let's see if we can zoom in. No, the lighting is not even, you can't see it. Damn. Sorry about that. So, he's just a sweet little piece. So he would look like this. Okay, so I'm going to do a start bid on this one, a uh, 50, a start bid of 50, and I've looked these up, these rings, they go well over 100, some 200. Year of the Dragon, was anybody born Year of the Dragon? I think I'm Year of the Dog. Hey, Sandito, thank you, my dear. Have you been here and you're quiet? <laughs> so sweet. You just got on. It's sterling, Husky. This is solid sterling. If the gold part is a gold, obviously gold vermeil over sterling. And it's between, it's between eight and a quarter and eight and a half. Yeah, I did sell the, um, the sterling watch chain already. Okay, so I'm going to start calling it, um, going once, going twice, fair warning. Sold to Sandito. Thank you, thank you. Don't worry, I have some other sterling magnificent pieces coming out right now. Oh, and I still have um, those little jewelry boxes too. All right, let's see what we've got here. Okay. This is, um, you know what? I didn't even test it if it's amethyst. I need to warm this up. I need to show this first. 
So this is sterling silver. It's a pendant. These are supposed to open up, but I, I, you know, these are more like a snuff bottle type of thing. This one has a beautiful shape. I don't know if this one opens up and I don't want to force it. Okay. I've had many of these different style of these little bottles. Um, but this one's actually a very interesting design. I like it. Okay, so it's a pendant. It's really pretty. Because it doesn't, I can't get it to open up. I don't know. I'm going to just price it a little bit lower. So this one is going to be a buy it now of 23. A buy it now of 23. And I've had, okay, you got it, uh, Linda. I've had different shapes, and this one is really pretty. Okay, I want to show you guys something uh, while that little tester warms up. So I, I have this sterling silver, I believe this pearl is real, it feels grainy. So this is a sterling silver necklace. This kind of reminds me of like, um, is, like pieces from Israel, it is not marked but it is sterling with the pearl in the middle. But sometimes people don't know how to go about, you know, maybe layering or whatnot. Because it has the pearl in the center, this would look, with the right matching pearls, this would look really pretty. If you have like a string of pearls, it would probably need to be more of like a, a, a whiter hue, not so much like a cream color. I'm trying to think, which one? I don't think I have one that's, this one's probably too champagne-y. Yeah, that one's too champagne-y. Anyways. I'm trying to give you guys different ideas. This would look fabulous with like a string of pearls. Obviously that match. So um, for this necklace, the drop is going to be eight inches. Eight inches. It's all sterling. The drop is eight inches. Let's just do a buy it now of 25 on this one. A buy it now of 25. All right, Sandito, thank you so much. Okay, this next piece, let's see here. Okay, so that's quartz. You're very welcome. That's amethyst. Oh yeah, that's real stone. Oh yeah, okay. You hesitated too long. <laughs> okay. Look at how this is an old, old pendant. Look at how beautiful this turquoise slab is. Okay. Um, this frame is sterling. It has a lot of patina. I'm going to leave it to the new owner to, um, to clean it up if they want. But do you see the matrix in this? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on one sec. Okay. The matrix in this stone. So we have sterling. It's just a beautiful, it's a beautiful piece. There's a whole lot of different colors swooshing in. 
if anybody's interested this one will be a buy it now of 30 and it's a pendant and this also would look lovely on um lovely um i see linda uh, linda came in first sorry josephina and husky this would also go beautifully um layered with like turquoise chips and whatnot okay I am going to measure this necklace. It is sterling silver and it has a beautiful amethyst cut stone. It was, it is a gorgeous piece and it's old. It's extremely old. I got that from my honey hill. Honey hole, not well, and the hill too. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, the length on this necklace from one end to the other is 20 inches. 20 inches. Okay, here is the clasp. It's a lobster clasp. And I'm going to bring it in right there. They obviously added an extender, but from here to the other end is 20 inches. Look at how beautiful this woven um, chain is. And here we have this beautiful grapey amethyst. Okay. This is all sterling. Okay. So um, let's just do a buy it now on this one of, I'll do a buy it now of 60 on this one. I'll buy it now 60 and I know it has a good weight to it look how thick this chain is all right Sendito you got it thank you She is. She's been waiting, I know, patiently to get some buys in. Okay. I don't know if this is Art Deco because the chain. Oh, it's an older piece. The chain is telling me one thing and the pendant is telling me another. Um, this, it has a blue stone and it's either aquamarine or topaz, maybe even sapphire. Uh, the drop on this is going to be seven and three quarters, seven and three quarters. Somebody could put an extender. I just want, I just want to illustrate <clears throat> the work of the the chain this is all sterling all sterling and then here we hit the marcasite with the beautiful blue stone pendant okay it's open in the back so you could get that extra prism with the lighting look at her wow this one is going to be a start bid of 60 she is um, all sterling. And she is gorgeous. Yes, the chain. I like this. See, so this is telling me one era. Um, it, might, it might be from the 30s. I'm not 100% sure because this pendant is throwing me off a little bit with the age of the chain. So we'll leave it at that. Where's my little box? It's 
star bid of 60 and then if um nobody else bids if, if there's just one bid then that person gets to bring it home for 60. maybe an off the shoulder type of dress or blouse that would be really really pretty that this stone is look at the color of it look at that she is an old necklace She is, she's beautiful. And give it a few more and then we're gonna keep it moving. Okay. Let's put her right here. I like to stare at her. I think she's pretty. She's pretty. Okay, next up, we have this antique brooch. It has the C clasp, the T bar, and this is a faceted crystal. Most likely just quartz. But this is a, um, a crystal quartz and then this is all sterling this is all sterling so she's an old beautiful piece of history this one is going to be a buy it now of 35 buy it now of 35 she's quite sorry for my sharpie um red marker okay so husky um got it for 35 thank you thank you congratulations Congrats, congrats. Let's All right, guys, hold on to your chairs because I have some fabulous pieces I'm whipping out. Okay, next up, we have carnelian and sterling marcasite. This is a very, very old ring. This is, I believe, like an Art Deco ring. Okay. And here is a brooch. This is all sterling. All sterling. The thing, though, is that this one's for a small, a small little finger. I'm going to give you the measurement right now. Well, maybe somebody, I mean, if you take it to a jeweler... They could probably size it up a little bit more, but I'm not sure how it would work the way it's designed. Okay. So this ring is going to measure, 
Oh, she's tiny. She's about four and three quarters. She's like a pinky ring. Well, f f she'd be a pinky ring for me. Four and three quarters. Okay, she's really, really small. Four and three quarters. Um, and let's, because of her size, we're kind of limited on, you know, what we could do. Let's do a buy it now $45. A buy it now $45. Like I said, she could be a pinky ring. But maybe it might be too much for somebody on the pinky. I should look into seeing if I could take it on my jeweler and have it sized up. If I do have it sized up, obviously it's going to be more. Forty-five. Okay. So if anybody's interested in the brooch, making sure there's no. Got to be really gentle with this guy. If anybody's interested in this brooch, hi, honey. How's work? Let's do um, a buy it now. I have to. I have to at least get forty on this one. A buy it now forty. She is absolutely phenomenal. Thank you, Husky. Great purchase. Look at that. It's slow. Well, that's good for you. Okay, so the ring is still available. Husky was waiting. <laughs> the ring is still available. I know it's a small one. Yeah, she's a little she's a little tiny one. Okay. She's like I was. I love carnelian. Too bad the ring wasn't bigger right okay let's do okay how am i gonna do this all right i got these little trinket boxes i'm gonna have to do the the camera facing down for a little bit i want to show you what they are they're just so sweet and magical for you to put out as you know your design or in your home interior or as a gift it'll work it'll work okay Okay, if I, okay, you know what? Let me put it, uh, I think that might be, huh. I'll ask, I'll ask my, um, I'll ask my jeweler and then we'll go from there, Husky, and then I'll let you know if it's going to be a go. Okay, so I got these trinket boxes and they were, uh, collectibles and I actually am going to go back because there was more to the collection and hold on one second uh, okay um, there's more to the collection and I just absolutely they were made in Japan I think see they're made in Japan so this one is the Melodies of Love. It's a music box collection. This one says, Don't You Know? So I don't know if that's the name of the song. 
inspired by the waltz wait hold on this one's kind of hard to read yeah it just saying inspired by the waltz and some other information so this is don't you know this is a little boy and a little girl so they all work you just twist the little the little um, music. I don't want to play all of them, but I'll give you like a sample. Who doesn't like a little music box? And then, you know, this also is cute to give like as a, um, as a gift, maybe put a little piece of jewelry or whatnot. Okay, let's see. So then I'm going to it should stop going pretty soon okay so this one is don't you know this one is this one says take my hand i'm a stranger in paradise and the it's the theme from borodin's something dancers polovsian i knew these names were going to get a little bit more harder for me to stay Okay. Take my hand. I'm a stranger in paradise. That's really, really sweet. Okay. This one says, We vowed our true love. It's an anniversary song inspired by. I need to put it up closer. I can't even read it. Inspired by. Okay, I'm going to totally butcher this, but I think it's Danube Waves by Ivan Novichis. Okay, I'm going to stop. I just messed that up. Okay, let's see what this one sounds like. Oh, that one's beautiful. Do you guys hear that? That one's beautiful. Okay, and then this last one says, our love, I feel it everywhere. And it is our love, oh, theme, theme from Tchaikovsky and Romeo and Juliet. Okay. So there's four of them. They're going to be priced the same. I have to put these in a box wrapped up so just remember that when I'm charging for shipping and whatnot so I'm gonna give a price you just tell me if you want one two three or four um, and they're gonna be at each a buy it now of $20 each a buy it now of 20 they're in good condition. They're part of a collection. And they are made in Japan. Husky wants number three. Thank you, dear. Very, very sweet. So let me put this to the side for Husky. So I still have three left. And I did buy them for a certain amount, so that's why I have to charge 20. I got them at the antique store. So I still have this one. Let me see, did I play this one? The music on this one? Let's see. And then I'm gonna hop back into the jewelry. Take my hand, I'm a stranger in paradise. It sounds so like Shakespeare, right? So I'm gonna give this a little bit longer if anybody changes their mind. You want, okay. Uh, You want this one, Linda. Our love, I feel it everywhere very romantic 
All you have to do is if you're trying to get sweet for your honey, just put the little music box on and there you go, a little candlelight. <laughs> very, very romantic. Okay. So sweet. See, I just like to mix it up. I like to mix it up. Okay, I gotta be careful with these. Okay. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's put these over here. You would play it for your dog. Oh, when I was playing them, my cats loved it. They were like, they were in awe. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I'm going to be bringing out a lot, a lot of amber glass. I know sometimes it's not like the favorite of go-to as far as pieces, but... Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's put this back up. Let me take this down. And um, anybody who came in late, this is Bakelite, red Bakelite, if anybody's interested. I don't know if this is going to hold. So I like to kind of curate. Oh, that's so sweet. All my cats are rescues too, Husky. I mean, I don't have a dog because we don't have the space. But that is awesome. Okay, I'm pulling out some amber glass. Bra Wait, who is that? Oh, Apache. I'm working, baby. Oh, no. Apache, you can't come up here, baby. Apache was dumped on the side of the road, too, at, like, three weeks old. And now he does not look like three weeks. He's a, he's a little chunky guy. I don't get it. It doesn't... I don't get none of that, but... Everybody, I guess, is cut from a different cloth, right? Okay, guys. So I'm bringing some amber glass. This is a very, very old piece. You know, something to kind of like mix it up. Have a, uh, uh, a, a set. This one's all baubles. Let me see here. Some are acrylic and some are... Uh, sheesh. I think sometimes the amber glass could be a little underrated. Underappreciated, I should say. This is the matching bracelet to this. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. This first necklace right here is by Goldet. And it's more like a choker. It's fabulous. It's signed right there, Goldette. And it has like this mesh, this mesh gold tone strap. It has, I don't know, what is that, a B? I think it's a B, right? So I'm going to give you a measurement on this. And this is Goldette. And we are looking at 15 and a half inches. 15 and a half inches from one side to the other, and it could be shortened. Okay. If anybody is interested in this, I'm going to do a buy it now of 15.
by now 15. Um, okay, Husky, you said you buy him pins of cats and squirrels for his jacket. How cute. Aww. I know. It just breaks my heart. I wish I could save all of them. Buy it now, 15. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, guys. I'd greatly appreciate it. Okay? So we'll keep it moving. And then this is glass. This is a beautiful... We have four strands of amber glass. This beautiful cognac color. Oh, there goes bronze's hair on there. Sorry about that. Okay. This is an older piece. It's vintage. You've had 12, you have had 12 rescue cats. Wow. Bless you. God bless you, girl. Yeah, if I had, you know what? If I had the space, I probably would. Because I've been itching for another cat. I just don't have the space. And they're just precious and they're so innocent, you know? Okay. Um, from one side to the other, the length on this is 16 inches, 16 inches. Here's the clasp and it hooks on right here. 16 inches. Um, let's just do this one at a buy it now of $23. A buy it now of $23 for this beautiful faceted um, amber glass. So Alyssa says, I just lost my last cat of three at all. Oh, poor baby. Wow, you had that cat for a while. They had a good long life. Julie, you got it. Thank you. Fabulous price, too. Okay. Oh, no. My God, there's, there's probably so many animals after Hurricane Katrina. Okay. Let's move on to possibly some matching bracelets, okay? This is Monet. Let me see here. It's a little bit lighter. And I'll give a good price on this one. We are going to be... This one is going to measure seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. This is Monet in its glass, seven and a quarter. Let's just do, um, let's do a buy it now of $12. Let's do a buy it now of $12. And it's, it's, an, it's nice, it's a nice design. Okay, we'll do this for a buy it now of $12. Okay, you got it, Josefina. Now this one is an older bracelet. And the measurement on this one is going to be and I'm gonna measure it on my wrist as well see it's saying seven I think it'll fit me though because they have scalloped scalloped curves yeah this will fit a seven and a half this will fit a seven and a half 
this will fit a seven and a half and this one is going to be a buy it now of 25. she is older she's an older piece here's the push box clasp floral gold tone yeah isn't she beautiful and then i'm gonna bring this one up which is a lot lot older buy it now 25 dollars Okay, so this one's up if anybody's interested for 25. You're a silver girl. I hear ya. I hear ya. Better leave it right there with the tulips. Now, this one, this one's an old piece. Look at the hammered. Look at there's a dragon on top of the faceted um, amber glass. The enamel paint is still on there. Look at this one. So this is the, this is how it goes in like that. Okay. This one's really, really old. Um, let me see if I could wrap it around. I think it's too tight on me. So basically seven and a quarter and below seven and quarter and below. I'm a seven and a half and it's really tight. This has a lot of age. Um, I don't know. It could be anywhere from like the 20s to the 40s on this bracelet. Okay. So um, I'm going to do a start bid on this one of 40. A start bid of 40 she's just she's special she's a special piece okay i have jyn at 40. how you doing mama I see the dragons on top I mean the illustration on these panels is phenomenal okay I don't think oh we got Josephina in at 45 we got Josephina in at 45 I think we need to turn on the light it's um it's tight at seven and a half uh hold on hold on let me read let me redo this let me strap her in okay so oof. this is how she is at seven and a half she's really really look she's snug so something more comfortable i would say seven and a quarter and below seven and a quarter and below okay i have jy at 50. no i'm sorry husky i just saw your um i just saw your uh your message because the chat was going there are no marks husky but this one's this a lot of older pieces were not marked she's this one's old and well worth i know over a hundred dollars okay so i have jy at 50 um do i see 55 do i see 55 
it's just like a whole thing. Okay, go. I'm gonna start calling it. Um, Josephine, are you still in or are you out, girl? I know when I visit JY, when I see my grandmother, it's, it's, yeah, it's poor thing. It's a constant, like repetitive thing, but I just go along with it. Okay. So she's out. I'm going to start calling it JY for 50 going once, going twice. Fair warning. Sold. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, oh, JY, my grandma's hilarious. First of all, before she got dementia, she was hilarious. Now, she's, oh my God, she's a riot. And she just, she just like randomly goes off on people too. It's, it's funny. So I have this set, if anybody's interested, the bobbly set. Let me measure this fun bracelet. We are looking, I'm going to, after this, I'm going to bring more silver out, more silver, maybe a few more purses. Okay, so we're looking at a measurement of, uh, let's see here. We're looking at a measurement of seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. If anybody, and if these are acrylic baubles, this bracelet. If anybody's interested, let's just do a buy it now of 10. We have seven and a quarter. It's just nice, fun tchotchkes, little acrylic. Oh, wow, JY, that's too cute. My my <laughs> my grandma, if my boyfriend's around, she likes him a lot. She's like, "Hey, you know. Oh, nice. Good to see you." <laughs> so funny. Okay, we'll pass on this one. If anybody's interested in the necklace, let me know. It's going to be the same price, 10 bucks. I'll give you a measurement. I'll give you a measurement. Since we are um, kind of doing the amber tones and whatnot, I have this cute beaded, it is hilarious, this cute beaded box purse. So you could use it like this, okay? And it has a long bead. These are, this is all glass beads. Or you could do the strap on it, okay? If anybody's um, interested, look at the lining. Still very nice on this, on this uh, vintage beauty. This one is going to be a buy it now of 15. A buy it now 15. I'm going to leave this right here. I'm going to move this one over. Okay, a lot of times I have seen pieces and like old, um, I'm just going to leave this right here for right now. A lot of times I've seen older pieces 
and it just needs the antique chain this unfortunately is not sterling but it can be used in a numerous amount of ways because it is that's too funny jy yeah my grandmother wouldn't like cuss or say anything bad now she just kind of lets loose i'm like oh grandma girl <laughs> this is a antique like paper clip style chain and what they did was they linked it in the center kind of like a, a lariat and then here's a jump ring so you could put like a, an antique ring you could put whatever you want um I was thinking if nobody gets this, I do have a check glass pendant that the the chain got busted, so I might add it to this. But there's just like it's really hard to come by these chains. So the full length is going to be um okay, 12 to 17 okay so from here to this part right here is 12 inches and then from this point to right here is 17 17 so the drop to right here is 12 inches again and then you continue on and the drop is 17 inches it is not sterling it's not but it's an old old chain okay so if anybody's interested um did i did i uh answer your question husky this one is going to be a buy it now for 20. a buy it now for 20. There's just a numerous amount of things you could do with this. Thanks, Husky. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so we're going to move this purse. And let's go. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I, isn't it cute? I wish you. I wish it was real silver, but it's still like it still has life in it. It reminds me of my Victorian chain um, that I ha that I have. We're gonna we're gonna start messing around with a few different pieces here. Oh husky, nice. I like that. I like that. That's a nice combo. There's a bigger one. I'm just going to layer them and then I will get more into detail about them. Okay, so that one's done. This one's done. Okay, so... I still have to show this one too. Um, oh, I still have to show this one. Okay, before I move on, I have this cuff and it's just like a cute little bird cage. It's costume, it's a clamp. Um, maybe there was something also on top. It's missing a stone right there. But there's like a, there's like a, I don't know if it's a carved bird or a, there's like something in the in the bird cage. 
it doesn't open up it's just cute i like it if anybody's interested as is five dollars five dollars for the birdcage cuff okay so that's available if anybody is interested a um oh wow I'm looking at it and it's missing a stone okay this is missing a stone and hmm okay I'm gonna have to reevaluate this one I didn't realize I had a missing stone okay before I get into um this black and sterling silver jewelry because I have a nice combo of different stuff I wanted to show you guys these earrings these are fabulous they're sterling now I don't know if these came from antique tea little lanterns or uh, meaning not lanterns, tea, um, you know, back then they would put, they would dip the tea in like this little basket and sometimes it was sterling. Look at these earrings. They are two different styles and they're solid sterling. I don't know if this, if they're caps from like, I don't know, salt and pepper shakers or something with the tea, like to hold the tea. But they're very unique. They kind of look like little lanterns. Right? They have different um, shapes. So if anybody's interested in these, um, because of their rarity and style and their sterling, these are going to be a buy it now of 60. These are going to be a buy it now of 60. And I think they're fabulous. I think they're fabulous. Okay, I'll give it a few more. Okay. All right. We'll pass on those. I just wanted to show this this is a brand new Betsy Johnson necklace <clears throat> it has tags I think it's fantastic it's phenomenal the length on this I've showed this one before I actually have two in my possession this is brand new from the store and this is more like maybe more of like gothic or maybe somebody could wear, I mean, you could wear it for Valentine's, for Halloween, whenever you want, as long as, you know, it matches your attire. So we're looking at 20 inches. 
as a you said someone described the previous piece as a what a praying locket sometimes you got to be careful I don't know like I when I do research if one person says something I will um, I'll continue to do research because sometimes they're a little off you know okay so let's take this off and from one side to the other so this is 20 inches from one side to the other this was originally $95 okay it's a blackened a blackened um, metal it has the encrustation of the heart with the, like a dagger going through it if anybody's interested this will be a buy it now 35 a buy it now 35 and this is brand new it still has the tags Okay. All right, you got it, Deborah. Isn't it fabulous? Congratulations. Brand new. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, Husky. I know, I'm still learning, and I've been doing this for, for, I think I'm going, I'm on my sixth year. I'm on my sixth year. But, I mean, there's just still, still so much to learn, you know? Jewelry is an art, and it's endless. There are different eras, there's different names, there's different techniques. Okay, so this is a glass. This is two strands. This is Nikki Butler. Okay, I'm going to give the measurement. This is Nikki Butler, and it was made in England. It's made in England. Nikki Butler. So the drop on this... Oh, Husky, yeah, you're you're way ahead of the game, girl, than me. And yeah, there's there's a lot to learn. Okay. So the the drop on the first um first necklace is eight and a half inches. eight and a half and then ten so from here to here is eight and a half and then to the next one is ten this is Nikki Butler if you guys are not familiar look up Nikki Butler um look at how beautiful this black cross is I'm gonna do a start bit on this one of 35 a start bit of 35 Nikki Butler this was made in England it's a start bid. Thank you, honey. And it's just, I just, I love when I like, I like the crosses like this. Remember when I, I don't know if you guys remember, but I had the garnet, the, I think it was from Sri Lanka, the, the beautiful garnet cross. I just, I like those. Those are beautiful. Yes, it will. It will. Okay, I don't think anybody else is interested, so I'm going to start going. Um, anybody else? 36 or higher? 36 or higher. All right, going once, going twice, fair warning. 
Sold to Miss Debra. Gracias. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. This, since we're doing a little bit of black and onyx and some black glass and sterling, I'm going to bring up this ring right here. But there's, this is not your typical ring. This one's a very special ring. So these rings are going for well over a hundred dollars. Okay, it's it's a panther. Okay, with black onyx, and it is from Ari D. Norman. That's the artist. Look at if let me see if we could see. Okay, it's really hard to see through the ring. But right here, these are all European stamps. These are all European stamps. Let me tell you about um, Ari. So, Ari Norman is the first silversmith ever to be awarded by the Queen's Award for Expert Achievement. Um, it's from a collectible Windsor collection. The striking sterling ring is crafted in Britain to the finest quality of pure silver, uh, you know, 90, 925 and black onyx with marcasites. And then this is a panther that sits on top. And then the panther is set with emerald eyes. So I think that's very interesting how um, Ari Norman was the first silversmith to be awarded by the Queen's Award for Export Achievement. Okay, so this ring is a size... This ring is a size 10. Where are all my size 10s at? This ring is a size 10. Look it up right now. You're not going to find one cheaper than 100. They're like, I don't know, like 150, 200 by Ari Norman. So the start bid on this one is going a size 10 small, uh, Linda. This one is going to be a start bid of 75. Not even on a pinky girl. Okay, we have JY at 75. We have we would need 80. Thank you, Miss Linda. We need 85. JY is in at 90. Oh, I'm sorry, Linda. Okay, Linda um, MH says she is out. And I said sorry to Linda Clancy. Okay, we have JY at 90. All right. Let's start calling it. Going once. Going twice. Fair warning. Sold to JY. Thank you, JY. Congrats, congrats. All right, we have this beautiful. Now, I had um, somebody 
basically purchased this and then it's they didn't pay so it's it's back up this is all sterling we have beautiful marcasite we have this onyx cross with sterling let me see if there's any signatures um no no signatures and the drop on this necklace is going to be eight and a half with the cross eight and a half so from here down it's eight and a half okay she's a sweet thing she's a very sweet thing so let's do a start bid on this one of forty dollars a start bid of 40 black cross i know isn't it a fantastic chain if if it's too short for somebody they could definitely add an extender but I mean, look at the look at the design on this. We have like elongated oval um, shape. Thank you, Deborah. Shapes. The bell even has the marcasite. Okay, wait a minute. I see something right there. Oh, that's just the nine two five. Okay, I'm going to start calling it, going once, going twice, fair warning, sold to Miss Deborah Abbott. Thank you, honey. Okay, I have this other necklace and before I throw in some more black and silver, I have this other necklace and I bought it at, at an antique store. It's beautiful. It is not sterling. It is Mark Sterling. But once you see the beautiful banded agate and the carnelian, it's like, oh my God. So I'm going to lose money on it. But I still think it's a fantastic piece. Um, uh, the drop on this is going to be 8 inches. The drop is 8 inches. I'm so sad. Like I thought for sure it, you know, it even has kind of like a 925 right there. Look at how gorgeous these, this stone is. So unfortunately, it is not sterling, but she's still beautiful and has life in her, okay? I just need to learn my lesson. Like certain pieces like this, I tend to just stay away from because 50-50, uh, 50% of the time, they are not sterling. Okay. So, um, for this beautiful cut, I'm going to do a buy it now of... Oh, my God. I'm so sad. $30. <laughs> I'm just... Oh, man. And if you guys would like to know, I paid double for this necklace. But she's sensational. I know. I know. Look at look at the stone. How beautiful. Look at the I love this. This reminds me of like that Scottish banded agate. It's so pretty. The stones are gorgeous. I know. Yeah, they're very creamsicle. 
right? Very creamsicle. It looks, I tested it. I tested it and it was like, nope. Okay, I'm just noticing something on this. This one's missing a marker site. So I can't put... Yes, like a cream soda, right? Um, okay, that one's missing a stone. Okay, so we'll pass on this one. Um, This one is... This also got brought back. So this cameo right here is sterling. It's carved. This this whole piece right here is all sterling. And this is glass. It might be onyx. I, uh, I don't remember if, if it got tested for onyx. But I'm just going to sell it as glass. The little clasp right here is sterling as well. It's just a beautiful carved cameo. And the measurement on this is going to be from one side to the other 16 and a half inches. 16 and a half. Now remember, if you want it longer, you can, don't hesitate. You can add an, an extension. They sell them on Amazon, Sterling. Okay, 16 and a half. She's beautiful. Okay, so let's do a buy it now on this one of 38. A buy it now of 38. And then if you got it, Mama, if anybody's interested um, in something that didn't sell free fill uh, after I air. Uh, feel free to email me. Okay. Let's see here. I have this magnificent necklace I don't know what the stone is I'm gonna show you guys right now I don't know if it's like jade emeralds but they are fabulous the cuts and it has a 14 karat clasp so the drop length not not the full length but the drop length is 16 and a half 16 and a half inches so it's double that let me show you. Let me show you what we got here. This clasp is 14k. Not because it says 14k, but I tested it. Right there it says 14k plus I tested it. Okay, I know I'm being really repetitive today, guys. I'm sorry. Sometimes I have to like say things out loud to like process stuff. And these are graduated um, green stones and it's a very very long strand I don't know what they are I could see a little bit in the stone right there like the matrix beautiful the, I mean they're so tiny and they just happen to make all those little facets so 14 karat you guys know gold right now where it's at okay this is long enough probably for somebody to do like a double strand and like i said i don't know it what it is if it's jade emerald what it is an older piece So, I'm going to double it up right here. What I'm going to do is... 
because the gold alone for that for i already know more or less where the the value is of the gold of that um this one is going to be a buy it now of 45 dollars 45 okay okay hold on so um sunshine came in first so sunshine got it sorry linda and husky and deborah <laughs> i should have did an auction on this one okay sunshine do I, I think i have your information do i have your information sunshine okay thank you thank you congrats what do you guys think the stone is oh yes yes i do honey thank you so much what do you think the um the the stones are they're they're beautiful they're magical anybody have any inkling Fluorite? I don't think it's fluorite, but possibility. It ha the pigment of the green is just emerald. Well, there it is. Linda says emerald. Okay, let me see here. Is this Kate Spade? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Sendito. You got you got trigger happy, hon. Huh? Jumped. <laughs> You're all the way across um, in the middle of the ocean, girl. You guys, Sendito lives on an island. She's way out there. Yes, I have this husky. Um, this is all amber. I don't know if you were in when I showed it. Uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hey, Sherry. Uh, let me see here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, um, oh, am, not, I have real amber. This is real amber that I showed this earlier. This is real amber, raw, real amber, not resin. <laughs> uh Linda okay I'm gonna put this so this uh raw amber it's on base this is artisan this metal it's basic it's not sterling it's not gold but it's beautiful and I'm gonna put the price in the chat uh, that way I give everybody um a fair chance and it is going to be a buy it now of 110 a buy it now of 110 okay deborah came in deborah came in all right guys thank you thank you Now, you know, you guys know I, I do like to mix it up. I was showing those little musical um, trinket boxes. 
I'm going to put this back up because I think it's still magical. Um, before I show some of my purses, um, this is a pen pendant. So if anybody bought earlier some black with onyx or marcasite, this would be a fabulous piece to match it up with. Or you could put it on a chain. So if anybody's interested in this one, it's going to be a buy it now of 30. A buy it now of 30. And she is... She's kind of like, she reminds me of like an Art Deco feel. All right, almost two inches. You got it, Linda. You got it. Linda M H. Um, I think I was asked, oh, I was asking Sherry. It's not sterling. It's real stone. I was asking for 30. I'm losing money. I paid double on that. I tested it. It's not sterling. But it does have a nice... The, whatever metal they use, it's, it's nice. Thank you. Hold on, I'm trying to loosen this thing up over here. Hold on one sec, guys. Okay, got it off, finally. So, um, you guys, we are getting into warm season. Oh, I didn't show you guys these two little, these two little, um, glass faceted yellow, like, tulips. If anybody's, and I'm not going to put the price in the chat. If anybody's interested, these are $10 each. $10 each. She said, I think the honey hoes are on Southern California. Well, I'll tell you one thing, uh, Husky. I've researched. I've done my time. I've gone up and down different parts. Like, I've traveled, girl. So, sometimes it's good. And then sometimes it's like, uh, not so good, you know? All right, I had this purse. This is more like a, it's blue with a metal um, like chain strap. There's a back pocket. This is just like a really fun on the go. Look, it has fringes. It is, it says four ways to wear chic bay. To find good prices, you know what? Um, the closer I get to LA, I, I don't even mess with that. Because I it's like there's no way I'm going to be able to sell the stuff that I get. It's it's Everything is like I got to go more east. There's pockets. Like something for your phone. You know, basically like on the go. Cute for dancing in, right? Look at magnet. There's another pocket in the back. It's just really cute. If anybody's interested, and it's blue, you can wear it with jeans and whatnot. Um, let's do a buy it now uh, 15. A buy it now 15. And yeah, it was never used. It's just really cute. You need to just grab your wallet and your phone and head out to the store. Throw this on. 
Really, really sweet. You could tell it wasn't used. It has the entire collection at thechicbag.com. I don't even know what these go for. But, yeah, 15 if anybody's interested. Okay. And then I have this one, which is like a gray suede. And this one still has its original tag. I guess it was purchased at TJ Maxx. This one is a gold tone chain. This one has the fringes and it's gray, like a gray suede. It's just one pocket. And this was from TJ Maxx. The fringes are on the side. If anybody's interested in this one, this one's $10. 10 I'll do $10 on this one. This one's really cute. This would be cute with some boots, too, or some jeans. Let me see here. Oh, it has the original little tag, I think. Ten bucks. If anybody's interested in little fringies. All right. You know what? I don't know, Husky, if it's real sway. Um, I don't know. It, it feels really good. Let me see. Is, let me see if I could get any information inside. Let me see. It says... It just says, due to the nature of the fabric, color may transfer onto other garments or upholsteries. And, oh, this is the brand. Oh, sorry. This is the brand. Oh, which that's not, I can't even read that. It's E-O-O. T-E. E-O-T or L-E. It's hard to see. That's the brand. Hmm. Okay. Do I have anybody who's interested in Betsy Johnson? I have some brand new pieces with tags on them. Well, most of them have tags. Okay. Let me show you right now then. Okay, I forgot to bring this out too. Oh, okay. Dia de los Muertos. Uh, I have I have skulls, but I think I don't know. It's there. There's a lot going on. Okay, before I show these pieces. Let's see here. Let me move this out of the way. I want to show you guys this old, old pen. It's, it's magnificent. And it has age to it. So... There is some discoloring right here, and I don't know if that's that it was supposed to be like iris glass, but look, it's like an angel, and it's holding this piece right here. There is some wear, you know, obviously on the stones. I've just never seen a piece like this. Okay, they are foil back, there's no name. Hey, Jen. Okay. She is old. 
and she's holding the flowers, the angel. So if anybody's interested, um, based off of off of its condition, I would do a buy it now forty dollars. A buy it now forty. She might just go on my collection. It's kind of, it is kind of awkward because she has red right there, clear, half red, half white. <laughs> it's a lot of, whole lot of, whole lot of going on. Right? Okay. So I'll put it right here with the other floral ones. Okay. Um, let me see here. Okay. That's Betsy. I have a Betsy Johnson watch. Oh, that's so sweet, Jen. Yeah, I love it. Um, It's not the season, but I don't know if it would bother you. I do have Betsy Johnson bats, too. And let me see. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me see what's going on with this piece. Uh, yeah, this is a lot of this. This is all. This is like Pirates of the Caribbean skulls. Not really like Day of the Dead, but let me see here. Betsy. Okay, let me just show you this piece. It's not like Day of the Dead skulls, but there are some skeletons. And this would also be fabulous for Halloween time. Wait a minute. This one's like twisted. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to like, I pulled it out of the bag and it's just, there's just a lot going on. This piece. Okay, I, I don't know. It, there's some twisting. That, these are all, these are all, this is Betsy Johnson. But this, these are all like, um, skeletons. They're all twisted though. I'm trying to fix it. Okay, wait a minute. I think I got it. I think I got it. Hold on. Hold on. Um, oh, come on. Okay, I'm yeah, some of them are just twisted. They need to be uh relaxed and I think I know what the problem is. Hold on. Well, I work on this. I'm going to put this one up first. This is a uh, bracelet. And it's a push. It's a push clamp. And it has a snake. This is Betsy Johnson. Okay. So if anybody's interest, oh no, wait a minute, we have an eye missing. Okay, never mind. What is going on? I'm finding like, <laughs> I'm putting things up to the light. Okay, this one has its tags. This one is a cute worm. It took a bite out of the apple and it's a, it's an open clamp. So if anybody's interested in this one, let's do a buy it now of 18, 18 brand new. Original price was $58 on this. It's signed Betsy Johnson right there. The wormy took a bite out of the apple. Super cute. All right, Sherry, thank you. Okay. 
Okay. And this is brand new. The battery's still going. Well, I thought it was going. Let me see her. I don't remember if I put a battery in this one. I thought I did. Okay, well this one needs a battery. This one needs a battery. Betsy Johnson, brand new. Because it needs a battery, it was originally $85. Yowza. It needs a battery. I'll do a buy it now on this one of 15. Um I am um, I'm doing good, you know? Just still dipping and doing and learning different stuff. Um any more sterling? I think Let me see here. The one piece that I did want to show, it's missing a stone. You know what, I think I'm just going to sell this as is. I'll, I have one more um, vintage borderline antique piece to show. It's missing a stone, but I'll just price it accordingly. So if, any, if nobody's interested, this is 15 You just need to add a battery. Okay. So. Let me show this next piece. And then. We'll, we'll talk about the Betsy skulls over here. Okay. So this sterling piece. Is actually a brooch combo with clips which I've never had in my possession before so this is by I believe coral so this is coral this is a brooch it's missing like a baguette right there okay maybe is that a stone another stone it's missing no that's a dead stone so it's missing wait a minute wait a minute yeah, it's missing one. Missing a, like an enlarged baguette right there. These, you, they come apart. You, It's sterling. But you open it up if you're not wearing it as a brooch. Okay? And these are clips. Look at, they're convertible. They're convertible and you take them off. And you could have them like as like a fur clip, a scarf, and it comes off of this. There's you, this one comes apart too. Okay. Now, usually these pieces that are sterling, especially like coral, napier, they're more they're mid-century and some from the 40s. This is all sterling. Because it's missing that one stone, I will price it lower. Maybe somebody could take the time to fix it. However, um, it's gonna be a buy it now of 40. A buy it now 40. Buy it now 40. And then, I have another, I have a ring, a sterling ring with a small, yeah, yeah, that's true. This is a size four. I'm going to show something else, Linda, before you jam out. So that's sterling. This is sterling. Look at how beautiful that turquoise. It's an older piece. It's a size four pinky ring. So if anybody's interested in this one, this one will be a buy it now of 20. 
So that's 40, the coral, and then this beautiful turquoise with sterling native work is 20, 20, 20 dollars. She's such a cutie. Oh my God, I have red Sharpie all over. Sheesh, sorry. But that's pretty much it, Linda. Um, I think I showed the bulk of the sterling tonight that I had. 20 and 40. I'm just probably gonna list this on eBay. I know the value of this, even though it has that missing stone right there. Oh, this came off. I'm gonna put it right there. All right. Okay. So I don't think I have any takes on these two pieces. Um, oh, there goes another stone I just lost. No bueno. We'll just leave it right there. Um, this is a Betsy Johnson, like, full of skulls necklace. If anybody's interested, it's very long. I'm not going to measure it it's gonna be a buy i'll do a buy it now of 20 on the skulls betsy johnson skulls and crosses skull oh look at they have crosses at the end and they're all different good night linda thank you so much maybe i should hold on to these for halloween time It's a whole lot, a whole lot of, oh, okay. All right, guys, my, my set always looks like, <laughs> looks like a hot mess after, um, you know what? I have this accordion stretch, uh, vintage bracelet. I will do. Would it match the crosses from earlier? The the skulls? Are you asking about the skulls? Would it match? Skulls and cross, crosses will always match. So, yeah. That's, that's a whole thing right there. Yes. If anybody's interested in the rhinestone accordion um, bracelet, it is going to be a buy it now of 15 and this is vintage. It is signed Britain and Ho British and Britain or British, British Hong Kong. Fifteen bucks. Okay, I still have the antique purse available if anybody's interested. And you know what? I'm going to show this again. This is sterling, but it's for a small wrist. I'll drop the price a little bit on it because I'm already losing money on this. Um, we're looking at a measurement of. Oh, Sherry, this is Bakelite. This is Bakelite. And so, um, I'll do this for 28. This is a bake. These are red Bakelite, um, baubles. Okay, you got it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. 
All right, and then one final thing I'm going to show again um, is this Native Mexico charm bracelet. It's for a very small wrist. I don't, I don't know if uh, it's going to be sitting at six inches. This is for six inches. And they're just really cute little tchotchke charms. And six inches. I will do a buy it now on this one of 35. 35. And it's sterling. It's sterling. Really, really sweet. All right, guys. Right, Husky? <laughs> I know. I'm losing money on this. It just, it's so tiny. There's, there's not a lot of, I'm probably, maybe I'll list it on eBay. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for coming in. I think that's about it. I will see you guys next week. Thank you for the support as always and just watching all the lovely finds I have. If you change your mind about certain pieces, please email me and I will see you guys in the next one. Adios. Everybody have a good night. Thank you.